excited to be your host and to introduce you to these amazing artists. Oh, yeah. <laughs> they are all so different from each other, actually. I, I curated this night to have it be as much uh, eclectic experiences as possible. And uh, I think they're all really dynamic and magnetic in their own way. Um, yeah, so before I introduce the first artist, uh, let's see, we have, this is a listening room. So Artichoke does ask that you uh, turn off your cell phones and get your drinks and use the bathroom, not when the artist is on stage. So you, you're welcome to do it when I'm talking, but um, if you could just uh, respect that, that'd be great. Let's see. Am I missing anything? Okay, well, I guess I'll just introduce the first artist. Uh, I met this artist at a uh, event where they were talking about Live Nation coming to Portland and how it affects the, the uh, local scene here. And uh, so we just sort of connected about that, and she was gracious enough to introduce me to a lot of people here in the music scene. And uh, then she passed on her music to me, and I was just so blown away by how powerful her vocals were and how she had this vulnerability in her storytelling, but also this like punk rock attitude. So I'm just really excited to introduce her. Uh, please welcome to the stage. And she has accompanying her, um, Alan Kaufman. <laughs> and uh, please welcome Anastasia Lang. being here. Thanks for coming. It's full house. This is wonderful. Awkward silence. <laughs> I'm Anastasia. As you know, this is Alan. He's going to make some pretty noises to uh, help me tell these stories for you. Um, so um, I haven't been writing for very long. I haven't been doing this for very long. Uh, despite my advanced age, uh, I've only been doing this for a few years. And we're going to open up uh, the set for you with a song that I wrote for my partner, who is here tonight. And he's a musician. And um, when we got together, it was the beginning of the pandemic. And uh, when gigs sort of s started happening again a little bit later, uh, I was uh, carrying all his gear to uh, gigs and helping him out and just being his roadie. And one night he was, um, I was kind of standing there, it was kind of rainy and I was holding something of his, some gear and whatever, and he, we were getting ready to you know, unload it. And he said, uh, gosh, you know, I really appreciate you being my roadie. And I said, well, you know, because I knew I was planning on doing this, right? So I was like, well, are you going to be my roadie when the time has come? When the time comes, are you going to mm, carry my stuff too? And he's like, uh, sure. So uh, that sort of stuck in my head, and I wrote this song. And what's interesting is, uh, you know, it's serious questions, and it's about that. And, and the thing is, he hasn't been my roadie yet at all. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm carrying all my own damn gear. And... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> and, um, yeah, so, uh, but, you know, what's cool is that he's here tonight. He's over there. His name is Mark. And uh, he has actually not really seen me play like this before, and he's never really heard this song this way. So there you go. I'm all excited. All right. It's called Do You Want to Be My Roadie? Are you ready? All right. <laughs> Just the way I like, so 
so strong not to sweet Will you keep my ukes in tune and set up all my mics and stay on the beat Will you be my biggest fan Will you be my forever man Can you be there when I'm loved by them all, then left out to dry? Will you be my biggest fan? Will you be my forever man? Will you wear all my merch, stream all my songs, then learn all the words? Do you want to tell me they are the best songs you've ever heard? I know it's hard to do, and I'll do it for you. This is not by design, but the next song is also about my partner. <laughs> but not really. It's 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 kind of a, a window into what it's like to have uh, ADHD where uh, you um, you set out to do something, because I wanted to set out to, uh, a couple of years later to uh, write a, a nice little love song for, m for my man. And, um, and I just wasn't doing it, and I just kept not doing it. And then I kept hating myself for not doing it because I was doing other things. And there's this, this running loop in, in my head, and it has been, it's been there, and I realize it's been there forever because I'm not living up to the expectations that ever people, other people set out for me as I was an honor student. I don't know if there's any failed honor students out here in the audience <laughs> where you did really well in school and you had all this promise. And well, you know, it, it, it didn't turn out that way. You didn't end up the CEO of a, of a large corporation. Um, you're just real smart for no apparent reason. <laughs> and, uh, and so my, my head ha you know, runs all these th through all these scenarios. Why aren't you writing a song? Why aren't you doing this? Why aren't you taking more pictures? Because you're a fine art photographer, so why aren't you doing this? Well, I just, you know, finally I just said, stop. I'd really rather just hang out, hold his hand, and just be me, and write the songs I want to write. And then this song came up, and I realized that I just want to hang out, and I don't really care about making my mark on this world. And I was like, oh, his name is Mark. So, uh, 
So, um, yeah, so this is, a, this is kind of like a little window into what's going on in my brain at any given moment. It's called Make My Mark. songs, take more pictures, I'd rather be in the park. Hold my hand, make me smile, kiss on me till after dark. Yeah, write that book, catch that crook, do that thing you said you do. I hear these orders, they're in my head, they're pushing me to turn the screw. But I'd rather be with you all day than working hard to make my mark. Pretty sure it's a better way than working hard to make my mark on this world. Well, wash your hands, comb your hair. Are you ADD in there? Go to bed, you're in my head. I can't sleep just anywhere. Oh, get that job and you're a slob. Why can't you do normal things? My home's neat, but where's my seat? It's under all my music things. But I'd rather hold your hand all day than working hard to make my mark. I don't care what people say, not working hard to make my mark on this world. Well, I don't know if you get me, but all I know is I'm supposed to be what everyone expects of me, but I can't live that way. <gasps> I don't know if you get me, but all I know is I'm supposed to be that girl with opportunities just living life for me. you do all day. There's more to life than this sad strife. I'll have to find another way. Cause I'd rather love on you all day than working hard to make my mark. There has to be a better way than working hard to make my mark on this world. Yeah, I'd rather be with you all day than working hard to make my mark. Can't think of Working hard to make my mark on this world. On this world. On this world. On this world. Thank you. Excuse us while we capo our guns for you. Um, I really appreciate all of you being here today. So many good friends. This is such a lovely room to play in. I really appreciate Gary making us sound good over there on the soundboard. Thank you. Yeah, give him a hand. I appreciate India for this opportunity. Thank you, dear. Take a drink of water. What happened? You lost the lid. You I lost the lid. lid. All right. It's I'll okay. <laughs> just, just live there now. Wait, wait, wait. I just, oh, that's fine. I just didn't want to, I didn't want to trip on it. Okay. So, <clears throat> so this, um, this next one's a lovely little kind of country song. And, um, it's a little bit of, well, it's a lot. It's, I, I wrote this about my ex-husband, uh, somebody else, not you know, my current <laughs> partner, somebody else, uh, my first husband, actually. Um, not a great guy, right? So we had this very troubled marriage, and, you know, and it wasn't, there were, man, there's a lot of lessons. So, so this song isn't really much about how much he sucked, um, but it's more about <laughs> me coming to the realization that he sucked. It's, it's all this, you know, the songs are about me. I don't want to write about somebody else. Oh, he sucked. Um, I just wanted to write about, oh, man, this is really, 
this is dawning on me that this is not good and I need to get out. So, and I, so I wrote this uh, fun little country song because I thought, oh, that's a perfect song for a country song, right? And it's called Waiting on You, Hating on Me. Alan Kaufman, ladies and gentlemen, playing the tuning song. My favorite, my favorite of Alan's. He's gonna, he, well, you know, he cares about you, so he wants to play in tune this time. in the bar last night I don't know what came over me You said we'd be alright but I can't really agree I don't know what's got into you You've been distant and that ain't fun Must be some distraction, but you always say There we go, we lost, there we go Now I'm sitting there waiting on you And you're over there hating on me Now I'm sitting there waiting on you And you're over there Hating on me. That night we met in the pub all those years ago, there was love. Now you're a mean old man who can't face reality. Oh. Here's where it all goes to hell. Yeah. We took a ride in the sheriff's car after things. Got a little loud Hoping my sister will post my bail Hoping there ain't no crowd Sitting in the jailhouse looking at you This is how it goes when it all goes to hell As far as I care you can stay right here in the old Great Bar Hotel, Hotel. Now I'm sitting there waiting on you, and you're over there hating on me. Now I'm sitting there waiting on you, and you're over there hating on me. All the times I look the other way, when you said you had a bad day. I'm so over you being a dick to me. Oh. Now I'm sitting there waiting on you, and you're over there hating on me. I'm gonna stop waiting on you, and I'll be over here hating on me. <laughs> I feel, um, even though I'm a, I present, I present as a goth girl, sorta, gothy punk girl. I uh, grew up in Tennessee, so I feel like I'm allowed culturally to do sort of country songs like that, as well as sort of gothy songs. I think I, I have license, because you can take the girl out of the holler, but you can't take the holler out of the girl, so I take that off there. Anybody here from the South, you know what I'm talking about, do you? Anybody here? No? Crickets? 
Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Not, not enthusiastically going, yeah, that's me. I'm from Tennessee. I grew up in Tennessee, so I have the right. <laughs> I have the right. I feel I have the right to criticize it. And I have the right to celebrate it, too. Here we are playing this song again. All right. <clears throat> so, um, all right. On the heels of that song about that husband, <laughs> there's another song about that husband. Well, sort of. This song's about, actually, it's not really about him at all. It's about a best friend. And I'm not talking about the kind of best friend that just holds your hair back when you're puking. But the kind of best friend you can call when you need to hide the bodies. I hope all of you have a best friend like that. I have a best friend like that. His name is Brian, and he lives in Tennessee still. And one day I was just sort of thinking about things and thinking about conversations y we used to have when I was married to said husband. And um, he would offer up some solutions, and we would fantasize some about some things about how to get me out of that. And he's a, he's a great guy. So I wrote this song wondering what it would be like, you know, if things did go that way. It's called Today's the Day. <laughs> Standing on the corner Waiting for my best friend I don't know when he's coming But I wait here until the end He's bringing me some good Feel it in my bones, but I don't know when he's coming. So I'm standing here alone. Things are gonna change. Yeah, today's the day. Things are gonna change. Just know. Mm -hmm. yeah. Lately, life's been hard. Not knowing what to do. Been feeling sad and beaten down But my best friend's coming through He told me his plan of a coffee And we spent the afternoon Going over all the details Just too good to be true. Today's the day the things are going to be good again. Yeah, today's the day things are going to be good. I just know. I hope dark days are behind me now. And promises believed It's been so bad for so long now But maybe I can finally breathe
I see him coming now. He's got a big smile on his face. He takes my hands in his. Such a lovely, warm embrace. He tells me that it's over now. No one's ever gonna know. He's covered his tracks and he's cleaned the scene. My man won't hurt me anymore. No, no. But today's the day my life is gonna change. Yeah, today's the day everything's gonna change. I just know. Ooh, I just know. Yeah, I just know. Mm -hmm. Now I know. Thank you. <laughs> India, I have one song, Violet, left. Do you want me to run through it real quick? Go for it. Thank you. Okay. This is my last song. Um, this song is, uh, and I want to tell you, you there's a poster out there on the merch table where I have, I don't have anything for sale, but I have codes where you can um, use your phone and you can find me um, on my socials and you can also find me uh, this song here that I'm about to do. It's called Violet in Her Nightgown and it is for sale on Bandcamp and then also you can listen to it on wherever you get songs streamed, wherever you stream your songs. Um, and this, this song is about me at a time when I was lose, losing, I've lost myself in a relationship with someone who was a narcissist and he was pulling me down into this place where I forgot who I was. And I had to pull myself out of it and remind myself to love myself. So it's a message, like you, you, you will get pulled down by people who are bad for you uh, if you don't love yourself. Violet in her nightgown. She met a man along the way who swept her off her feet. He showed her all the things she thought she could never see. She lost herself down the rabbit hole she gave in to her defeat. Oh, come back, come back, Violet. Oh, come back to yourself. Don't let those voices win. There's no such thing as sin. Oh, Violet, get off the shelf. But it's you, my dear, like the good witch says, the power is all yours. You create your reality, your own manifest destiny. You don't need another soul to take you there. You're a strong woman on your own. You can never feel alone. So love yourself, Violet, no, we care. Come back, come back, Violet. 
is when there's no such thing as sin or violence. Get off the shelf. Come back. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Anastasia Lang and Alan Kaufman. Um, so one thing that I did to prepare for this night is go to open mic after open mic after open mic with my notebook, ready to note people's Instagrams and try to find some talent for this night. And this next artist, I was just uh, so impressed with her presence and um, she just had this sensitivity and tenderness and also this soulfulness and lived inness. And I uh, just had to book her, and she agreed to come. So uh, please um, welcome to the stage. She's going to be accompanied by her bassist, Meredith Zell. Yeah? Uh, Valdoria. I like to start with a song because it tells you something about me a little. <laughs> um, I moved to the Pacific Northwest almost exactly a year ago, and I met Meredith here at an open mic last summer, but we've only been playing for like two months. And most importantly, Every song I write is some kind of love song I'm in love with life, I'm in love with having fun I try to make conversation, I try to amuse I've got a bad reputation for wanting you to come and save me some loving, give me some loving, say you need, give me a bit of relief. Every song I write is some kind of love song. I'm not in the right, I'm in love with I try to make conversation, I try to amuse I've got a bad reputation for wanting you to come and Save me, give me some loving, give me some loving Save me, give me a bit of release, darling Give me a bit of a, give me a bit of a, give me a bit of release Darling, give me a bit of a, give me a bit of a, a bit of release I circle round and round through a bright idea talking to you. I didn't feel as true until I couldn't breathe. I rambled on like a fool, so next time there won't be a story. I vacillate between true and hiding all my thoughts of you. Hiding all my thoughts of you. Touch me. Turn off my talking, turn off 
my talking Touch me, give me a bit of release See me, I need your loving, I need your loving Save me, if love is a bit of release Darling, love is a bit of a, love is a bit of a, love is a bit of a release Darling, love is a bit of a, love is a bit of a, a bit of release I circle round and round through them bright talking to you I didn't feel it was true until I couldn't breathe I rambled on like a fool so next time it won't be a story I vacillate between true and hiding all my thoughts of you oh, well, well hiding all my hiding all my thoughts of you well hiding all my hiding all my thoughts of you you yeah, hiding all my hiding of you kiss me turn off my turn off my turn off my talking kiss me oh give me a bit of release see me i need your loving i need your loving save me if love is a bit Thank you so much. Thanks for coming out and supporting local music. Appreciate it. Um, so I know I started by saying, singing a song that says every song I write is some kind of love song, but sometimes I write songs about my existential angst, and if I may shill a bit. Um, I, I have, so I have an EP, and I'm not going to be playing any of the music off of my EP, but it's pretty good, and you can find it on Bandcamp. Uh, if you want that information, I have free stickers. And if you want to support, I also have paid stickers. Uh, uh, my uh, Hello, I am existentially angsty, this sticker here I have for sale. I have some sparkling existential angst stickers. So the other kind of song that I write are songs about my existential angst. If you're interested, like talk to me during the break or after the show. Um, and this, so this next song splits the difference between love song and existential angst. I wrote it, um, I had a long bout of the COVID where I lost my voice for six weeks. And, um, and that really sucks for someone who, whose main expression is music. So <laughs> I was listening to um, the audio book of, uh, of Dracula, but not just any audio book of Dracula. It was the... Um, the the, it's called Powers of Darkness, because apparently when Bram Stoker had it translated to Swedish, they had a deal where they would rewrite it a little for the Swedish sensibilities. So Powers of Darkness is more or less like Dracula, but um, the Swedish version, like I was listening to the audiobook retranslated into English, um, and it, it is actually different. It's significantly different. It's kind of shorter than Dracula. It's a little bit punchier, and they treat the vampires a lot more sexy. So <laughs> just in case you're interested, Powers of Darkness. Um, so this song was heavily inspired by my existential angst and the fact that I was reading this Powers of Darkness. There's a lot of imagery in it that was heavily influenced by that. It's called Saturnine Death, Saturday, Saturnine, Saturday, because I like alliteration. Saturnine Saturday, you're so grave when your corpse animates again and again. You enumerate heartaches, curse that you wake, slurp your coffee, nurse your bitter feelings if you don't like the taste. Why do you waste your appetite drinking it in? If you don't like the taste, why do you waste your appetite drinking it in? Saturnine Saturday, when you wake battling 
muscular misery can't you see the organism the curse of your ancestral beast churning out ghost after ghost to pile your bone machine sluggish with blood but crackling with electricity sluggish with blood but crackling with electricity touch me and see touch me and see if you can source the primal need longings a chasm that we dig deep loves the bottom its gravity sings touch me Touch me and see if you can source the primal need. Longings a chasm that we dig deep. Love to the bottom, its gravity sings. Touch me and see. See if our gravity sings. Touch me and see. So I have a friend who um, who told me I speak in lyrics even when I don't mean to. And uh, the thing is, uh, I think everybody does. I'm just listening. My brain's kind of a trap for that kind of thing. Um, and then a couple weeks later, a couple weeks after that conversation, uh, same guy was telling me about these fruit trees that he has in his yard, like this peach tree and a plum tree. And he goes, they go from blossom to rot in a day. And I went, blossom to rot? Huh, that's an interesting turn of phrase. And it got started, it started banging around in my head and I'm like, oh, it's a song, it's a song. <laughs> so this is peaches and plums. Blossom to rot on the sidewalk of the luxury of my despair Painted there in the guts of the fruit you forgot Are you the worm that aids in my decay? With all your sensorial You live, but 
13 you rake I take and take and take all that you give and still I live in longing peaches and Peaches and plums Sweetness all spoiled by the blight It becomes, oh, the luxury of my despair Painted there in the sin to which I've succumbed You are the worm that aids in my decay And oh, all of my senses are burning all spoiled by the blight it becomes oh the luxury of my despair painted there in the guts of the sin I succumb in the guts of the sin I succumb in the guts 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 of the sin I succumb I wish I was better at tuning and vamping. <laughs> um, I wrote multiple songs that referenced peaches. It's like my favorite fruit. My second favorite fruit is figs, but my favorite fruit is peaches. Um, I wrote multiple songs with peaches in it last summer, I think because the, uh, the super blue moon made the moon look like a moldering peach in the sky. So this next one, uh, I wrote shortly after the one that I just did. Um, I had come back from an open mic. Uh, I was coming home from an open mic. I was driving home and I saw the moon looking like a moldering peach. And I'm like, that's interesting.
truth shines like silver and it glimmers with a purpose and it's sinking ever deep beneath desire's rippling surface sometimes the way you come to me makes me a little nervous you bleed into my melodies but doesn't make it worth all of the Restless nights Midnight appetites Jealousy Loving recklessly With wanting your company had a hunger I could not identify I was walking around in midnight and the moon was a slice of a peach in the sky tempting my has a little bit of a speakeasy vibe. This one's called Can't Help But Think of You. Incessantly over a thought Half remembered Half imagined Fully concentrated Pure distraction I don't know what to do Can't help but think of you It's bewildering to me the time I In 
your heart of hearts You long to wake up with me Just one touch from you Is all that would undo me I'm unglued I'm unglued should be no mystery in silence from you familiar story took away your offerings and then you withdrew did i get boring are my memories all Distorted. What am I to do with love aborted? Though you leave my heart so blue, can't help but think of. Though you play me for a fool, though I can't help but think of. How I wish I love was true, cause I can't help but think. Thank you so much, Meredith Saul, everybody. <laughs>10 minute break um, and I forgot to point out the bathrooms. We've got one right here. We have one around the uh, back of the room, around the corner up the stairs, and a third one around the corner through the music uh, room. Uh, see you back in 10 minutes.
nonprofit music venue. So um, your ticket price goes 100% to Artichoke, so thank you so much for that. Um, the artists are donating their time so uh, this evening, uh, so thank them for that. And yes. <laughs> And if you would like to support them directly, we have a tip jar right here in front of the stage. Thank you. <laughs> and that goes 100% to the artists. Um, I feel like I'm forgetting something. Oh, well, I wanted to say thank you to Christopher in the, at the bar. <laughs> and thank you to Gary on sound and live streaming. And thank you to Steve at the, uh, at the door. Thank you, Steve. <laughs> All right, this next artist, I actually found by chance. Um, I was speaking to another artist and asking for recommendations, and she gave me a list of four different artists, and I listened to all of them, and I was like, that one. I went to her Instagram, and I watched the first video that was there, and I was just wrapped. I mean, I just could not get my eyes off of her. She was just so fascinating and captivating. So prepare to be transfixed. Uh, welcome to the stage, Mookie. Dear, if you want it, but I'm scared of how quiet it be. Disrupt. In 
guys I get so uh, nervous up here it's so scary thank you <laughs> um, I play in a band with my sister and this is a song that we do um, my sister plays violin so imagine that there's a violin on this song um, and we're playing together at Mississippi Studios on April 21st if anybody around.
as cold as she is she lives for winter mornings when silence paints the earth with its blood she She won't go for long And when she does Let me go along I've been playing around with um, different tunings, which is super fun. It's like having a whole new instrument when you have strings on different. I put together a really rainy day set today, but I'm not gonna lie, my other sets aren't far off from this chill, so. <laughs> Um, when I play with my sister, though, it's a little, uh, it's a little more upbeat, a little more rocky. Besides that last song. <laughs> uh. This is a song I wrote um, recently when we had that ice storm, and I was stuck inside, and um, it was kind of a time where I had worked through you know, a particular habitual thinking pattern. And I was kind of regressing when I was locked inside, you know, to old habits and hurtful thinking. Um, so this is about that. Desperate and reaching, I learn to keep leaning, forever staring at dust on the ceiling. The texture of yearning, the color of burning, never quite feeling right, still hold on to feel.
right, I'm going to end on a happy, sweet note. Um, kind of. This is a song about when something sweet happens in your life, and um, you're enjoying it, but also you can't help but anticipate it ending. <laughs> Thank you, Moki. <laughs> uh, we are at the last artist of the evening. Um, so I found this person on Craigslist, actually. I put a Craigslist ad out for this, and she responded. And uh, I was just so impressed with her as a human. She was really gracious and warm. And she also just has this timelessness and wisdom in her voice. And I'm just really excited to see her play. So please welcome to the stage, Camille Trudeau. Craigslist. I've actually found a lot of great musical opportunities on Craigslist. <laughs> so, um, hi everybody. 
Thanks for coming out on a Thursday. <laughs> I feel super privileged to get to be on such an incredibly talented lineup. Um, and I think we should give a round of applause to India for setting this up. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Good job. Yeah, thanks for sticking around to the last, for me, I guess, to the end here. Um, this first song is not really a s full song. It's kind of a song starter. Um, I haven't quite finished it. I usually combine it with um, Bill Withers' Ain't No Sunshine, but we were given one cover allotment for the set. So <laughs> I wanted to save that for another song. So you're just going to get the first little bit of it, and um, we'll go from there. So I wrote this song the day after Thanksgiving, um, this past Thanksgiving, and I woke up feeling really sick after eating food. And um, I struggle with, probably a lot of us do, very busy, bustling mind. It's always going, 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 and that morning it just wouldn't let up. And so I told my mom, hey, I'm just gonna drive to the coast and like get outside and just like clear whatever is going on right now because I'm having a hard time. And so I got there and the phrase that kept kind of coming to me while I was running on the beach was um, that freedom is a clear mind. And so I thought, ooh, let me make a song out of that. Cause I'm like, yeah, if I could just not always be thinking, I think I'd be a lot happier. So this is the beginning of freedom is a clear mind. at the beach on the day after Thanksgiving I had a belly ache and I said take me to the water the water oh at the water I'm gonna cry and be washed clean Freedom is a clear mind I skipped and I ran across the sand Thinking last week, oh I lost myself again I was thinking about some man Thinking about my plans How can I stand high Without a clear mind I can't let go of the past I'm scared of the future How do I let go of that? Freedom is a clear mind There you go Thank you, Thank you so Hopefully that'll I'll figure out some chorus for that Or we'll just keep it short <laughs> Uh, this next one is called Never Run Away From You, and I wrote it right after a breakup last year. And it's basically, it started as like being influenced by the breakup, but it more turned into this idea of me telling a future partner, people, that they can take off their mask and just show me their true selves and their heart, and I'll accept them as they are. Um, I'm really horrible at small talk and like just yeah there's I'm extroverted sometimes and other times I'm really introverted so if it's like how was your day today I have a hard time so I like to go straight to like what are your traumas no okay. but um I just do better with like depth so I want people to do the same thing with me so this is called never run away from you um it's also me kind of talking about uh that I'm looking for someone but I'm also kind of hiding so I should probably stop hiding if I want to find someone Where is your sunrise? 
I've been waiting for a while But I just keep my head underwater Head underwater Trust me, I want to move through Your voice, your heart, your soul I do We could jump head first into the water Why do you still wear your mask? I would never run away from you Touch your soul and love it bad. I would never run away from you. No, I wouldn't. Everything in my life is always changing. I've gotten used to. promise I won't be afraid of you No, I won't be afraid So Why do you still wear your mask? I would never run away from you Ooh. Wanna touch your soul and love it back This next one is a cover, <laughs> and it's a cover I really enjoy. Um, it's Bonnie Raitt, Love Me Like a Man. Um, I just started my own band after kind of being in a couple other bands, and last week we finally like did the full band rendition of the song, so it'll be fun to get off the keys, because it's not really meant for the keys, but this is my version of Love Me Like a Man by Bonnie Raitt. start that over. It's men that I've been seeing, babe Got their soul up on a shelf No, they could never love me When they can't even love themselves And I want someone to love me Someone who really understands Someone who won't put himself above me But just loves me like a man I've never seen such losers darling don't think I haven't tried to find a man who can take me home instead of taking me for a ride and I want someone to love me and darling I know Someone who won't put himself above me But just loves me, loves me like I know he can And 
They all want me to rock them Like my back ain't got no bone But I just want a man to rock me Like my back was his own And darling, I know you can Someone who won't put himself above me But just loves me like a man. Like a man. Some blues in there. <laughs> I've actually decided to take up the banjo because I really want to, not that that's blues, I suppose, but I want to get more like my bluesy, blues, grass, whatever <laughs> style because I'm mostly jazzy. So I love that song. Um, this next one's like a total pivot. Um, I wrote it. Basically, I moved to Portland two years ago from Colorado, and um, I grew up all over the place uh, and landed in Colorado for 10 years before here. And I moved here because my father was battling stage four cancer, and he had like three or four months to live. And so I was in my last semester of college getting ready to go to law school, um, and my mom called me and was like, you need to come out here because you only have a couple more months. So I had to drop out of college, and um, I was busy getting ready to like train for cross country nationals and like so much was happening and it just all of a sudden went kaputs. And um, I wrote this three nights before he passed away and it's called Whimsy. It was actually my first single I released last July. And um, it's talking about a lot of things, um, namely kind of this idea of like someone's energy permeating life even if they're dead or alive or someone you've loved even if they're not around or you've broken up or whatever, just that, that energy never really leaves. Um, it's also trying to talk about my own experience with weird spiritual, psychedelic, like psychic experiences my entire life that if you spend enough time around me, you will, people like who come into my world are like, what the heck? Um, so this was kind of talking about that, talking about my father, talking about a person I loved who kind of disappeared right as my father was about to die. And I was like, well, you're not going to ever forget me. You're going to feel my energy. Um, so it's a very loaded song, <laughs> um, but yeah, it's out if you want to listen to it after this, and it's called Whimsy. Once captured by the fair Stitched to my eyelids Torn apart by life's wind Lifting up the seams Drifter, have you found it? Answers to your haunting Delusions are my children Lost in their daydreams when I see the morning, I don't think to leave the spirit of the night whose shadow lets me sing. Call it the whimsy of my life, the whimsy of my life, I'm the whimsy of your life. You won't forget my soft spin How it made you see Angels past the screen door Visions you cannot believe And even when the mirage in the desert Echoes us apart You can't bury me with your silence My spell will echo far when you see the morning, you won't think to leave Illusions of our union always kiss your dreams It's the whimsy of this life, the whimsy of this life I'm the whimsy of your life
Yeah, if you guys want to listen to that, um, it's on my website. It's Spotify, everything. So um, let's see. What time is it? We have 10 more minutes? Okay. I guess I do have time for two songs. I thought I wouldn't, so we'll do two. Um, usually in my sets, this is where I would have like a more uplifting cover because <laughs> my songs are a little heavier, but I'm going to skip it. So the next two are also a little bit, if you can't tell, um, I'm very angsty and also feel things deeply. So um, this next song is... Also a song I just released uh, last this month, March 3rd, and it's my first music video. So if you also want to go check that out on YouTube, um, it was super fun to make. It's set in like a 1920s jazz bar, and I had a lot of help from the students at PSU make it, um, and like a lot of young local artists helped me make it. So it was a really fun project, and it's basically a song to like my future husband, life partner, um, and it's just saying, if you tell me, how you look at life, that you are curious and have courage and really like feel deeply, that's how I'll know it's you. And uh, it's called Love Me to the Bone. Give me to your skin And love me to the bone Let me in your head Let me in your bed Give me all your pain Give me all your souls Tell me what you want Tell me and it's yours Cause I've got a lot of love to give I don't want to waste it Give me all your pain Give me all your swords Tell me what you want Tell me and it's yours I've got a lot of love To give Breathe. 
Okay, we've reached the last song. Thanks again, India. Can we give like one more round of applause for everybody? <laughs> Everyone was so good. Um, I'm glad that Anastasia put a clock right there. Thank you. I can't see it. There you are. She like a clock right there so we could keep up with the time. So that was a great idea. <laughs> um, this last one is basically, it's called To the Sky. And I wrote it with this idea that I'm 30 years in the future. And I'm telling current Camille, like, hey, you did it. You made it. You're OK. Um, pursuing music is not easy. Right now, I'm like really going like fully into trying to get a music career. So. It's like uh, a lot of networking and a lot of so many things that you don't think about when you say, oh, I want to be a musician. Um, and so I often get panicked about it. And so one day I'm like, let's just write a song manifesting that you're fine, you're totally good, you can pay your rent. And uh, this is what came out of it. And um, it's also kind of talking about listening to the voice inside of your head um, and not ignoring it. For a long time, I knew I wanted to do music, but I thought I should do law school, um, and I was ignoring this, so this is about listening to that voice. I can't hear a siren in my mind Without wondering what it's trying to tell me There's a song being written And I want to reach the ending And I can't believe it I finally wrote to the sky All my pain was empty and dry When the stars aligned I've been roaming the desert for days Asking the scars on my skin to reveal themselves one unravel how they began and then I want to watch them fade watch them fade away and I can't believe it I finally rose to the sky all my pain When my stars aligned And I wonder why Till my stars align Thank you, Camille Trudeau. Yes. Thank you all so much for coming. This has been so special to me. I just feel like I've had this cleanse of beautiful, powerful voices. So thank you to Anastasia Lang, to Valdoria and Meredith Zoll, to Mookie, and to Camille Trudeau. Thank you so much, y'all.
Uh, we have these uh, Thursday night coffee house showcases often. It's not every Thursday, but the next one that I'm curating is May 23rd, and I'm going to be playing there as well. It's a night of all duos, so if you're into that, come back for that. And come back anytime because there's lots of artists to uh, discover at these nights. So thank you all so much for being here.